By now, you have already seen part one of Types of Recreation Centers here in the Villages. This is part two where you combine the ability to get that knowledge and put it to some visual stuff with the drone and walking through some of the rec centers. Let's go ahead and get started. First of all, thanks a lot for watching. I'm Rusty Nelson, and you know the drill. Go ahead and subscribe and like it if you like this uh, information. And I'm going to jump right in and get started on this. If you watched the first video, you saw how to get information about the rec centers and what's going on through the two websites. And if you haven't watched that, I will put the link right here. I would go back and watch that. This will make a lot more sense. But this is a visual of what we just learned about the rec centers and the types of rec, the rec centers and the pools. So let's jump right in. We're going to start with the smaller rec centers and then work our way up to the regional rec centers. Now, I went out and shot um, just a couple of the smaller rec centers, and then I shot, I don't know, probably 70, 80 percent of the regional rec centers, which will give you an idea of the different facilities that are there. And I, I caught them from all the way from the first uh, regional rec center, first rec center, all the way down to uh, some of the really new stuff. And let, well, let's just go ahead and jump in and start looking at them. If you looked at the previous video, part one to this, and I would highly suggest that you go back and look at that because you may get a little lost if you're not. This is the map that we were referencing, and this is a full page view of the map. And you can get this on districtgov.org. And I, I must say that it's they keep it up to date fairly well. And we're gonna let's go ahead and get me off of here. There's a lot of people that that are thinking about coming to the villages, and this is kind of going to blow their mind. I'm guessing this is about from top to bottom, probably 20 miles, maybe. Uh, I'm taking a wag at it, and it it'll take you a good half an hour to drive from one end to the other. So that'll give you an idea of actually how large this is. And when people talk about the villages, they kind of generally divide it up into three areas. This upper area right here, north of 466. Then there's the middle area between 466 and 466A. And then below 466A, down to the turnpike, and as you get down into this area, I'm sure we're going to have a, it's going to be the fourth area, which is down here. Now, you think of 20 miles along there, and there are these rec centers that are plopped down all over the place. Now, uh, I'll zoom in, and for our purposes, we're going to jump down to the bottom here so we can see this a little better. There we go. That's nice and big. And if you take a look at the map, you'll see that right away it says... There are three recreational types. And as we talked about in the other video, neighborhood recreational center, village recreational center, and the regional recreation center. And then up by the Lake uh, Sumter, there is the administration office. And with those recreational centers are attached pools and various other amenities that go along with it. And like I said before, as we take a look at these, we'll see that each one kind of has its own personality. And what I did was I went from actually one end to the other, and we're going to take a look at the very first rec centers, and we're going to take a look at, at the newest ones and kind of see the differences. Now, I, I have said that they have their different personalities. And what I mean by that is they generally follow the same theme but each one kind of has its own little quirk. So, for instance, a lot of people tell you that the sports pools are at the regional rec centers. But if we come down here and look down in the bottom left down here at Fenny Regional Rec Center, you'll see that it has a family pool attached to it. And we're going to go take a look at Fenny in that area. Now, it's kind of a unique story that I've heard. It's kind of a rumor, but I have heard it. We'll see whether I'm right or not as people chime in on the comments. And if you look over on the right-hand side here, you'll see a Zell, which is one of the newest ones, and that has a sports pool. Now, most people will say that the regional rec centers do have sports pools, which is generally true. And like I said, you need to look up 
each one of these pools types of rules because they're very specific about who can go and what can be done at each one of those pools. So what I did was is since neighborhood rec centers like St. Catherine, a lot of those are all the same. And we'll take a look at those and see what they generally have in them and maybe take a look at some of the kind of weird ones. And then all, then we'll take a look at the village recreation centers, which um they're a little bit larger and generally have more amenities and different types of pools than the neighborhood recreation center. And I took some shots of a couple of those and some of the uniqueness of a couple. And then I went and I started all the way up north and I started doing a video of the very first recreational center, which uh, was Paradise. And I think it was known as orange blossom in the beginning and then i came down and shot all the other ones now a lot of this was done through the holidays so you're going to get to see um some decorations for the holidays but l let's go ahead and get started and we'll start down here in saint Catharines, and this is a neighborhood recreation center I'm kind of chuckling because I feel like I should be saying welcome to Jurassic Park. Anyway, this is St. Catherine. This is a neighborhood recreational area or a neighborhood recreational center, as you would call it. And they are a, a lot of times this is really representative of a lot of the new ones. This is a postal and recreation center, and they are scattered throughout the villages in separate little neighborhoods. And if you look, there's a gathering going on now. My friend Ray is having his almost 60th birthday party, his house up to the right there. You'll see on the end. But this is exactly what these postal recreation neighborhood areas are for and as you can see they have a lot of uh, small activities to do and let's go ahead and drop down out of the drone and take a look around one of these postal centers. I am just on my way out of town and as you might have seen the uh, aerial view of this postal recreation center which i'll show you the sign right here and this is for my area sorry about it if there is a little bit of wind and there's also a larger bulletin board but this postal center has regular shuffleboard and over there it has the bocce and this is why they call it a recreation center because each one of the postal centers kind of has its own uniqueness. Now I'll show you towards the end one of the other ones that's a little bit different than this, but they also usually have a cornhole. And as you can see, a really nice view for this one. I mean, you can come out here and have a picnic over here. The Izell um, Regional Rec Center is right there and the pickleball courts. So there's another pool right there for the regional rec center. And right over here for this area is the pool. Now almost all of them, I don't say every single one, there's always exceptions to these, but they usually have a local pool that's really close to everybody. And then usually on the back, there's a, uh, what do you call these? The authorization to hold mail and if you take a look on these they're kind of fun because people put little stickers on there so that they can remember which box is theirs it's not like we don't forget any time right now if you look these are all sealed off here at this one and i'm going to try to help the postmaster out here by right. how you doing Good by showing you that these are all blocked off also right here 
So if you want to do VHA correspondence, it goes into this slot. And if you have district correspondence and amenity, water, sanitation bills can go right in there. And you'll see a yellow sticker that says outgoing mail. And this is where you can put uh, stamped envelopes right in here. But the rest of these, at least at this station, are all blocked off. I'm not sure why that is. And it looks like, I'm gonna look around. So there's another one over here that's open. So the ones that are open actually have a little yellow sticker on it. Now over in the, if you wanna go play bocce and you wanna play um, the, the sports that are here, you can come over to the pool area. And in the pool area, there's usually a door that will actually have all the uh, bocce and that type of stuff. Anyway, that's kind of a little bit closer tour of the um, Postal Recreation Center. Now, some of them are different, but that's the general concept of each one, and you'll find one pretty close to your house, and that's where you get all your mail. Now, I do know people ask a lot about Amazon and that type of stuff. Of course, there's a guy on his motorcycle. Down here on the bottom, they'll give you a key and you can, you'll get larger packages down there. And I do know some of the other packages, the postal people are kind enough to drop them off at your house. So that's really cool. So give a big hand to the folks at work inside these buildings. And they are usually local people right here in your neighborhood. St. Catherine has a neighborhood adult pool. And as I said before, most of these type areas have a neighborhood adult pool, but you really need to check, as I'll show you later at a different pool over at Cattail. But this is for all adults and resident guests over 30. So there's no kids at these pools. And you really need to check the rules for each one of these pools and follow them. By the way, they also do check ID at a lot of these pools. Uh, off and on, so you need to make sure you have your resident ID close at hand. That was the first recreation center. Now that is, they are generally the smaller of the recreation center. We're going to kind of move up into what they call a village recreation area, center, whatever you want to call it. It's the medium-sized one. And the one we're going to take a look at as an example for right now is aviary. And right after that, I'm going to kind of show you why you need to check the area that you're going into, because we're going to take a look at cattail and what surrounds cattail and what they call that. But for now, let's go ahead, jump in and take a look at aviary. Now, there are a, a, a thousand ways to look things up, and that's what part of this video is, is to learn what things are accessible to you to start researching these recreation centers and things around the villages. Right now, we are on the villages website, thevillages.com, and this is forward slash map, and this is a different way to look at it. Now, this is a great map, so I'm going to show you how to use this and what what I use it for actually. And this is a map of the villages currently. As you can see down in the lower area is the area that has not been built yet. Now, God knows how much more they own, but remember, I don't work for the villages. I'm just trying to show you how to use these different assets on the web and stuff. This is the area dead center right here. So we're going to kind of zoom in. We were just at uh, Sawgrass right here, and this was the area that we were in right here. Now, you can see how great these maps are that they have for you to use. This is Sawgrass where we were right here. Actually, this is Sawgrass, Azel, and this is St. Catherine. Now, if we come over westerly just a little bit and we zoom in, this is Aviary, and you can tell when you use these maps 
exactly what is around here. So you have a preserve on one side, large parking lot, and you can tell what facilities are there just by looking at the map. But let's go ahead and jump up into the drone and take a look at uh, around from the air. There's a nice shot of aviary from the air and you can tell it's definitely larger than St. Catherine, that's for sure. And there are no postal boxes here. So this is not where you'd go pick up your mail if you're in this area. Actually, I almost bought a house right on the other side of that pond over there, but decided not to. A nice pool, we'll talk about the pool in a second here, but you got cornhole, nice view of the water again from the cornhole, expanded picnic benches out there, which makes it really nice and six pickleball courts, a couple of tennis ball courts, and expanded bocce and shuffleboard. So here you have two, uh, four bocce and four shuffleboard, really nice area right here. Sits right next to the preserve. So if you're a bird lover, that's gonna be great. It also has a ATM, which is really nice. So you can just jump over here, drive through and get some cash out of there. Now the pool. The pool is obviously larger, a lot more chairs, and it is a family pool. So it is for all residents and guests regardless of age. So this is the only type pool that you can bring the kitties to. And as you can see, it is a really nice pool. And the facility has really nice changing rooms, that's for sure, so anyway, let's jump back up into the drone for a second and work our way into aviary. This is Aviary, and Aviary actually opened up just a little a year over a year ago, and this was the 100th Recreation Center. Yes, you heard me right, 100, and now I think there's about 10 more. But obviously this deals with, quote, birds. And when you walk in, it is so well appointed and so well decorated. I love the color palette here. On the wall, you're greeted with this giant bald eagle. Now, this was imported from England and was made by a woman by the name of Lisa Lloyd, an artist, and it is all small cut little pieces of paper. Uh, pretty, pretty, pretty cool little piece of artwork, I think. I, I, I'll tell you what, I got to hand it to them. They definitely have an eclectic type of decorating and that goes through the whole villages, but it is really blended together well, I think. I really like it here. Right next to the reception desk there is a kind of like a bulletin board and they'll always have something up there telling you about things going on all over the villages, not just here. There's also a small meeting room, card room, multi-purpose room that right next door has a kind of like a small kitchen warming room type thing. So that if you have a party or a group there or a meeting, you can warm food up and make everybody happy. Now, this is something that you'll find a lot in the village recreation centers is a billiards room. And what they did here is normally there's six. They took two of the billiards tables out and replaced it with a shuffleboard table. Now, I love playing shuffleboard, so I thought that was a great idea. I'm not that great at it, but I sure do like playing. And if you look down at the other end of the shuffleboard table, you will see something else I like to play also. I used to throw darts for the darts, darts for the Hibernian Club, and that's always a lot of fun when you can get a group of people together throwing darts. And if you check the various publications, you'll be able to see what each one of these village recreation centers has in it. But this is pretty much a good representation of a village recreation center. There you go, that was aviary. So, so far we've looked at two different types of pools and we've looked at two different types of rec centers. St. Catherine, we were neighborhood rec center, postal center, smaller one. And then the second one that we looked at aviary, that was larger, had more amenities to it. And that was a village recreation center. Now. Take a look at what I got on right now. It is actually another day. This is taking a lot longer and I have a lot of information on this. So I'm actually going to do a part three. So this is the way it's going to work. We're going to do one more and that's going to be cattail. And I'm going to show you how much they can vary about what surrounds a rec center 
compared to the um, other aviary, the Villages Rec Center. And Cattail is a Villages Rec Center. So let, let me bring up the map here and I'll show you where we're going. And then since this is taking so long, I'm going to go on to part three after that. And we're going to take a look at the third type of pool, the sports pool. And all of the regional rec centers, because I have a ton of regional rec centers. You're going to see the difference in those. But let's go ahead, jump to this map, and get started on Cattail. Sticking with the same map that we pulled off of the districtgov.org. And like I said, this is a, a great example of it. And I suggest you go, if you want to learn, to go to that uh, website and check this out. We first visited St. Catherine, which is right here. And then we visited Aviary. So we went from a neighborhood pool to a family pool. Now we're going to jump over to Cattail and we're going to see how much not necessarily the facility itself, but I think you're going to see something. Even though this is a village recreation center, you're going to see how much of a difference there is between the two, even though they're both classified as a village recreation center. Before we actually go up in the drone, I want to take you back to this map because I, I, I think if you use the village's website and use their maps, I want to show you how well this works. So th this is the map, uh, thevillages.com forward slash map forward slash, and I'll put the link down below. And this is a great map, and we're going to zoom in here and take a look at exactly where we're going to put the drone up. So this is the area. Now, if you remember, Aviary had a nice area that you could walk into. It had a building, a rec center you could walk into. And these are both villages recreation centers. But you're going to see how different they are. And I, I want to make sure that you realize that just because it's classified as a villages recreation center, it is not necessarily the same. Like I said in the very beginning of the first video, is they all tend to have their own personality. And I kind of consider this more like a hybrid. So we're going to put the drone up right here and you're going to see Marsh View Pitch and Putt. You'll see the uh, Cattail Village Recreation Center, which actually has its own postal center in it, which remember Aviary didn't. You'll see Edna's and then you'll see Lowland's Executive Golf Course. And well, let's go ahead and pop up in the drone right now and check it out. As you can see, it's kind of a combination of a bunch of different types of rec centers. It's got a postal center and yet it's got a family pool in it, but there is no real recreation center, so to speak, like aviary. But the pool, family pool, looks out over a nice golf course, the Marsh Bend Pitch and Putt. And if you've never played this, this is a great little course to bring three clubs on 
and go play and have a really great time. And it just sits right next to Edna's on the green, which if you come over in the afternoons, there's a lot of music and stuff going on there. But underneath these live oaks just makes for a absolutely wonderful place to have a picnic or relax. And if there's music there, listen to that. Edna's on the green, named after two women named Edna that just so happened to put these menus together and the food trucks are wonderful they change in and out every once in a while and if you need to walk it off afterwards there's hog eye pathway which is about two and a half miles long guess what this is going to have to be stretched into three different parts because as you can see just doing the smaller ones the uh, neighborhood recreation centers and the villages recreation centers we're up to probably like a half an hour right now and i've shot a whole bunch of the regional rec centers and i'm going to put those together and that's going to be part three so thanks a lot for stopping by make sure you subscribe because you'll get notified when the regional recreation center one comes out and like i always say oh hit the like button just do that little favor for me hit the like button and i will either see you down in the villages or i'll see you back here on youtube for part three